Hello friends, thank you for stopping by One Nest Yoga with Lisa. I am Lisa and today we're going to do a quick stress relief. We don't have a lot of time, but there are moments when a little bit can go a long way. I'll see you on the mat. I'd like to invite you to just be and in your stillness, notice spaces of nothing amongst everything within and around you. Allow yourself to breathe. In a comfortable seated position, draw your hands to your chest so that we can connect to our inner peace. I love the words, when you go within, you will never go without. Those spaces of nothingness within are where you can find moments of peace. Begin to notice how you're breathing. Invite deeper relaxation by lengthening the inhalation and the exhalation. So breathe into the abdomen. Your rib cage will expand, making room for the breath and your chest will rise. On the exhale, bring to mind the word surrender. Passively soften your body and let go of that breath that no longer serves you. Let's ease our way into torso circles. On the inhalation, draw the chest forward. On the exhalation, round the spine out as you go back. Do what feels good to you. Reverse the circle. Most of the practice of yoga works on the energetic body. When the energetic body is well, the physical body reflects that. In challenging times, the types of energy that we're surrounded by is not always good for us. Without awareness of that peace that resides within, that outside influence can affect our health and well-being. Inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale and twist from your navel center, cupping your right hand on your left knee. Lift your chin towards your right shoulder in a gentle sweeping motion. Paint a rainbow with your chin. Alternate from left to right. Inhaling and exhaling. Hold your chin towards your right shoulder. Lift your left arm up overhead, bringing your bicep close to your ear. Exhale, cross your left arm over top of your right. Find whatever movement here that makes you feel good. Gentle rocking side to side. Sitting in stillness. Find some cat cows by lifting your head rounding out your back. Release the arms, inhale up overhead, exhale and repeat on the other side. Paint the rainbow with your chin from the right shoulder to the left. Sit up tall, shoulders relaxed. On the next sweep of the chin towards the left, reach the right arm up overhead, bicep close to ear. Release it down, cup the opposite knee, give your body what it needs. Regular practice of yoga, that's what ends up happening intuitively. We start to give our body what it needs and not what we want. Now let's release the arms and inhale up overhead. On the exhale, let your arms land behind you. Press your fingertips into the mat with your thumbs closest to your body, fingertips pointed away. Gain access to lengthening through the torso, lifting through the neck, rooting down through the sit bones and the tailbone. 
Exhale, soften and release. Bring your knees towards one another. Recline back slightly and start to windshield wipe your knees side to side. Bring your forehead towards your knees and hug yourself in for a few moments. Extend your legs long, parallel to one another. Toes are pointed towards the ceiling. Sit up straight up on your sit bones. Find a long spine. Point and flex the feet just a few times to start to lubricate the joints. When we do a forward fold, it's not how far you go. It's how you're getting there. Inhale a fine length in the torso and then hinge forward from the hips. I just slightly bent my knees. Be comfortable here. So even if your hands land on your knees, on your shins, or if they're just at the side, that's fine too. Maybe you want to get some scapular movements in and shrugging the shoulders up and down. Maybe here again, some cat cows, lifting the chest through as much as you can. Roll up. Inhale both arms up overhead. Exhale them to the side. Coming into another relaxing posture, another forward fold. With our knees spread out to the side, soles of the feet touching, take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toes. Your elbows butterfly out as well. Hinging from the hip. Fold forward ever so gently. You can slightly pull up onto your toes to help you lean forward a little bit more. Getting into the muscles of the groin. Keep breathing, allowing that breath to help you gain access to your forward fold. And then if you wanna release your head, maybe you wanna release some tension in the back of the neck. You can also release everything once your body feels it's safe. To come out of this, sweep your arms behind you, press your fingertips into the mat, lift your chest high, draw your knees together, roll onto your back, Draw your knees in towards your chest and rock side to side, giving your lower back a little massage. Let's cycle through a few rounds of Apanasana. Exhale as you draw your knees in. Inhale as you push them away. Exhale in, inhale away. Exhale in, inhale away. These are really good for the digestive system. T-shape your arms out to the side and then shift onto your left hip. Try to get both shoulders onto the mat. Gently turn your head the opposite direction of your knees. With a smooth sweeping motion, keep your arm extended and reach it over to cross your body and land on top of the opposite arm. Make that a flow. Inhaling as you open, exhaling as you close. Inhale. Exhale. And repeat that same flow on the other side. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale.
draw your knees back up in towards your chest hug them in make little circles with your knees give yourself any final movements you want maybe straighten the legs point and flex and then lower the legs straight down make the body one long pencil as you lower slowly inhale and hold it for five four three two one, as you soften and surrender, release your hands to the side, tuck your shoulder blades towards one another. Stay here in one final meditation, connected to your breath, inhaling and exhaling into the abdomen. Bring both hands to your heart center. Acknowledging the peace within and honoring this practice that connects you to this place. Namaste.